Good morning everybody out there in this tube land. It's the first more fall day of the mini break that we're having here in the woodlands of Norfolk, here in the forest of Norfolk. And um, it should be a fun day today. Um, Fox is jumping around in the background as per usual. It's manic, manic here in the Winters household, as it were. Um, yeah, the kids were up and at it early this morning. In actual fact, if it weren't for them, I probably wouldn't have got up in time. So, yeah, so today we are, I am going shooting. I'm going clay pigeon shooting. And it's all right, I know what you're thinking, Danny and a shotgun, that doesn't work. But it will work, because what you've got to remember is I come from North London. So, coming from North London, that means that I should be quite adept at handling shotguns. <laughs> um, anyway, follow us today, or this morning. We're going to go shooting. I'm still not with it, you see. I'm not completely awake yet. I haven't had a coffee yet. But uh, once, I get my, once I get my zap juice, I should be okay. But, yeah, so follow us this morning. Come along, see me do some shooting, make a fool of myself, probably injure somebody, God forbid. And, uh, yeah, just to have some fun today, chill out with the kids and, and what have you. Willow's already been up early... I think Willow was up around about sort of half six, quarter seven, with getting hazel up to make us sit her in a hot tub. I don't know what that's all about. But yeah, so follow us and hopefully we'll have an enjoyable day. Let's we'll see if we can get these kids a bit quieter today, shall we? <laughs> Manic. And Lily, as usual, up and at them, dog. There you go. This is what I had. This is, this is it. This is what I had all morning. Absolutely manic. There you go. There you go. Brilliant. I can't put any more that for you. Right, that's it now. I'm blowing off all cylinders, so that's good. So as I say, let's get out of here. Let's get down to that rifle, not rifle range, I don't know what you'd call it, where there's, you shoot clay pigeons. There must be sort of some terminology or name for it. But let's get down there anyway, and let's see how many of these clay pigeons I can knock out of the sky. Probably none. But uh, yeah, let's get down there and see what we can do anyway, shall we? That, see you in a bit. What's Smiley? Are you Smiley? Are you Smiley? Lily's in the back, ready for the off. Fox. It's a family day out. Fox. Willow's in the back. Hello. Hazel's in a happy mood as ever. I am. Fox, mm. come and get in the car. I just went in the hot tub. Did you? Good girl. So this is a bit of a this is a view with a little bit more light of the place where we're staying. A little bit more light than yesterday anyway. So yeah, we're deep in the woods here. There's a woods there, obviously. Don't need to point that out to you. So yeah, that goes in quite, quite a few hundred acres, and there's our cabin. It's a little bit of a better view in the light. So there you go. And then we're back around to the cafe restaurant shop over there where we ate dinner last night. Very nice it was too. And but that's where I want to be. That's where I'm the happiest. Tucked away in the woods. So, how do I feel? I have a bit of a mixed feelings about these type of holidays, really. I mean, it's lovely to get away into the woods and into the forest and just sort of amble around and enjoy Mother Nature and sort of be at one with her, if that doesn't sound too hippie. But um, it kind of concerns me that, you know, I mean, uh, should that amount of woodland be owned? Should that amount of woodland be cut off from the public and only be enabled and in, in, in use for people that pay for it that's the bit that sort of grinds me a little bit that's the bit that winds me up and the thing is that you know you, you we've paid well I'm not going to say what we paid for it but we paid a lot for it and I mean it's four days no three days yeah three nights three nights that we're here and we've kind of paid for those and we only did that because we got a bit of Christmas money so that enabled us to sort of plough that into it and um, get away for a few days. Otherwise, I don't think we would have been able to have afforded it generally because it is an awful lot of money for those three days or three nights. Um, to give you an idea, if you were to stay here for a week at Christmas, you'd be looking, what was it, over £2,000? £2,500. 
for a week. Yeah, but that was five people, so you're in a bigger category. Yeah, it's five people, bigger category. It's still a lot. I mean, two and a half thousand pounds. But that will give you some sort of idea as to how much they're actually charging. Um, are they? Is it Forestry Commission that own it? It's privately owned, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think it's sure. privately owned, but it does concern me, you know, that nature should be there for everybody to enjoy. How do you put a price on nature? Well, quite clearly, they, they seem to have. Um, but I don't think it should be there just for the use of people that have got the wherewithal to enjoy it. It should be there for Although, everybody to, to enjoy fair, it. It yeah. doesn't say private land anywhere around there. So people can go and walk their dogs in there. It's just that. maybe you can. I don't know. But I haven't. But then I haven't seen anybody in there, other than the people that are staying there. To be honest with you, um, well, well, the guy that was running, I saw he was over in the cabin opposite. But yeah, um, he's made Hazel quite envious because Hazel wants to run. Did you know Hazel was a runner? She doesn't often speak about it, do you, Hazel? You don't often mention the fact Never, that you're a runner. Very rarely. I'm doing no. a marathon this year. Well. Did she tell you she's doing a marathon this year? Anyway, I digress. Yeah, it just concerns me that there are people out there with children and, and, and you know, maybe don't earn great money or have not that we're not, we're not, you know, we're not millionaires by any stretch of the imagination. You know, we're sort of just a normal family. But it does concern me that it, it, it's, it's kind of not inclusive. It, it you know, excludes... It majority keeps, of people. Do you know what that keeps the riff raff out? Do what keeps the riff raff <laughs> out? Yeah. yeah, I think you've mistaken yourself there, Hazel, because we're well, in no, there. Right. We so the riff raff is in there, definitely the in there. Yeah, we are the riff raff. We are what my mum would call scum. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't use that word. Although she may have coined it had she met Hazel. Oi. But <laughs> you married up. You did. Married up. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Don't you? St- I know I'm married, mummy. Married up. She obviously hasn't seen the heritage and the lineage of my family. Otherwise, she would know exactly who married up. Well, we lost it about a hundred years. No, we lost it about eighty years ago. But yes, I do come from a. Well, I'm not anyway. It doesn't matter. Right. Okay, guys. So I will speak to you a little bit later when I get the shotgun. And remember, like I said, don't worry about me in a shotgun. I was born and brought up in North London. I know exactly how to use one. Hope it's not sawn off, because those are the ones they used to use in North London. It's got the See the of use, guys. But I'm going to show you just how pretty it is around here. All right. Now we get into the. <laughs> there we go. This uh, don't take the nose. There's a little stretch through here. Oh, that's cool. But, it is pretty through here. What monkey tree? Yeah, we'll monkey tree. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, that I is know. very cool. A man with pretty looking. I saw. Whoa, was he? Do you want me taking it down? Taking it down, yeah, I would guess. A man with pretty so the thing about Norfolk it is quite open, as you probably know. Um, but it's beautiful. We've just driven through some little villages. I didn't get the bloody camera in time to take some footage of it. I'll try and get some on the way back, but it's very pretty. And as you would expect from Norfolk, very rural. And flat. And flat, yeah. Well, that did, that's uh, Lincolnshire, isn't it? They say it's flat, or is it Norfolk? It's flat. Norfolk. Flat as the proverbial witch's tit, as they say, isn't it? Was a pancake, it was a pancake. more PC term. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not PC, am I? I'm most unpolitically correct, if that is a saying. Yeah, I'm going slowly. Yeah, go slowly, mummy. Fox has told you. Fox is the health and safety police. Can I have the orange jacket? You do have an orange jacket. Yeah. Listen, kids, yeah. don't wind me up, because I'll have a shotgun in a couple of minutes. You'll be right, so don't wind me up, all right? Goes for you as well, Hazel. Yeah, whatever. We've arrived. At least I hope we have. Yeah. Bumpity bump here. Right, let's have a look. So we can't get through there. Okay. Maybe we haven't arrived then. I don't know how to get there then. Okay. Let's have a look. So these are the type of flint cottages that you. 
see in Norfolk. Very pretty. And some of them are made solely of flint. Sort of another material by the look of it. Or, you know, another material that's solid. There we go, quad biking clay pigeon shooting. Yeah. Stop uh, kissing her on the nose then. Pretty out here. It's freezing. Well, that was good fun. Really enjoyed that. But I always do when I do clay pigeon shooting. But uh, I, I can me like I do it every day. I don't do it every day, obviously. But I have done it a fair few times over the years, and it's always been fun. So yeah, that was jolly good fun. But it was absolutely blisteringly cold. So um, the footage that you see on there is Hazel took it. So forgive me if it's not the greatest. She did her best, but in the weather with the kids. I think she did quite well, to be fair. So, yes. Oh, look! Oh, look, it's a monkey. Who? It's not a monkey. A monkey! <laughs> right, never mind. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it was jolly good. And uh, there was a boy there of about, I think he was about 15. 14, 15. Quite young, anyway. And he was just knocking them out of the sky like they were nothing, like just absolutely nothing. So yeah, so he beat me, <laughs> hands down. Then he beat a lot of people, he beat his dad, which I think is even more embarrassing. And Fox consistently told me how rubbish I was. But, which was nice. Which was nice. It's a nice bit of confidence building from your son there. So yeah, so onwards and upwards. Hi guys, unfortunately I didn't do that much vlogging today because I was too busy just chilling and relaxing. So after the uh, shooting, which was a, which was a, an experience and very very enjoyable, um, we came back. I did a bit of reading, chilled out, took Lily for a little bit of a walk, and then we came back. And this afternoon, all I've done is, well, basically, I've just laid in a hot tub. Now I was very very anti hot tubs. They're one of those things that I was always concerned held lots of bacteria and weren't particularly that hygienic. But the thing with me is because of my shoulder because it's sort of knackered, for want of a better, better um, description. And also because I've got, I don't know if I told you guys, but I've got three compacted vertebrae at the top of my neck due to the accident as well. It means I get quite 
sort of stiff up there and it's 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 it, it needs manipulation <clears throat> but a hot tub um first time ever using one it's actually really worked wonders because it's it's really it, it means i can move my neck about a bit more than i normally can um it's relaxed my arm it's sort of taken a lot of stiffness out of the shoulder i know it's only a temporary measure but um you know i'll take anything you know but yeah so it's great i really enjoyed it um hazel was very pro them she likes them, um, although I don't think she's had much experience with the hot tubs either before sort of this weekend. Willow absolutely adores it. Um, Fox is not allowed in there because he's three, and the thing is that they can't at that age they can't sort of regulate their own temperature, so you can't really sort of put them into that sort of environment that's warm when it's cold out and vice versa. So yeah, it's been a very enjoyable day. It's been lots and lots of fun, and um, yeah, sh what a time to be alive. Hey, shotguns in the morning, hey, and uh, books and hot tubs in the afternoon. Do you know what? The only thing I was missing was a glass of wine, but I'm sure I can remedy that at some point. So, yeah, I'll speak to you in a little bit. <laughs>